What's happening everybody, Box Jellyfish here and today I am going to cover WR104 and the dangers it may pose to Earth. WR104 is a triple star system located in the constellation Sagittarius, about 8400 light years from Earth. The primary star is a Wolf Rayet star, abbreviated as WR with a B0.5 main sequence star in close orbit and another more distant fainter companion. Wolf Rayet stars, often abbreviated as WR stars, are a rare heterogeneous set of stars with unusual spectra showing prominent broad emission lines of ionized helium and highly ionized nitrogen or carbon. The spectra indicate very high surface enhancement of heavy elements, depletion of hydrogen, and strong stellar winds. Their surface temperatures range from 30,000 Kelvin to around 210,000 Kelvin, hotter than almost all other stars. The WR star is surrounded by a distinctive spiral Wolf Rayet nebula, often referred to as a pinwheel nebula. The rotational axis of the binary system, and likely of the two closest stars, is directed approximately towards Earth. Within the next few hundred thousand years, the Wolf Rayet star is predicted to probably become a core collapse supernova, with a small chance of producing a long duration gamma ray burst. The possibility of a supernova explosion from WR104 having destructive consequences for life on Earth stirred interest in the mass media, and several popular science articles have been issued in the press since 2008. Some articles decide to reject the catastrophic scenario, while others leave it as an open question. Scientists currently believe the odds of WR104 posing a risk to be small. The two main stars in the WR104 system are predicted to end their days as core collapse supernovae. The Wolf Rayet star is in the final phase of its life cycle and is expected to turn into a supernova a lot sooner than its companion stars. It is predicted to occur at some point within the next few hundred thousand years. With the relatively close proximity to the solar system, the question of whether WR104 will pose a future danger to life on Earth has been raised. Apart from a core collapse supernova, astrophysicists have speculated about whether WR104 has the potential to cause a gamma ray burst at the end of its life. There remain too many uncertainties and unknown parameters for any reliable prediction and only sketchy estimates of a GRB scenario for WR104 have been published. Wolf Rayet stars with a sufficiently high spin velocity prior to going supernova could produce a long duration gamma ray burst, beaming high energy radiation along its rotational axis in two oppositely directed relativistic jets. Presently, Mechanisms for the generation of GRB emissions are not fully understood, but it is considered that there is a small chance that the Wolf Ray component of WR104 may become a GRB when it goes supernova. If neither of the supernovae produced by the two main stars generate a GRB, their compact stars will. If they both become neutron stars, or one becomes a black hole and the other becomes a neutron star, the collision of the two compact stars will create a gamma ray burst and sometimes even gravitational waves, like the gamma ray burst that produced gravitational waves in 2017. According to available astrophysical data for both WR104 and its companion, Eventually, both main stars will be destroyed as highly directional supernovae, producing concentrated radiative emissions as narrow relativistic jets. Theoretical studies of such supernovae suggest jet formation aligned with the rotational axis of its progenitor star and its eventual stellar remnant, 
and will eject matter along their polar axes. If these jets happen to be aimed towards our solar system, its consequences could significantly harm life on Earth and its biosphere, whose true impact depends on the amount of radiation received, the number of energetic particles and the source's distance. Knowing that the inclination of WR104 is roughly 12 degrees relative to line of sight and assuming both main stars have their rotational axes similarly orientated suggests some potential risk. Recent studies suggest these effects pose a highly unlikely danger to life on Earth. The Wolf Rayet star would have to undergo an extraordinary string of successive events. The Wolf Rayet star would have to generate a gamma ray burst. However, these events are mostly associated with galaxies with a low metallicity and haven't yet been observed in our Milky Way galaxy. Some astronomers believe that it is unlikely for WR104 to generate a GRB. The probability for any kind of GRB event is around the level of 1%, but more research is needed to be confident. The rotational axis of the wolf Rayet star would have to be pointed in the direction of our planet. The star's axis is estimated to be very close to the axis of the binary orbit of WR104. Observations of the spiral plume are consistent with an orbital pole angle of anywhere from 0 to 16 degrees relative to the Earth, but a spectrographic observation suggests a significantly larger and therefore less dangerous angle of 30 to 40 degrees, possibly as much as 45 degrees. Estimates of the opening angle jet's arc currently range from 2 to 20 degrees. Note the opening angle is the total angular span of the jet, not the angular span from the axis to one side. Earth would therefore only be in the intersecting path if the actual angle of the star's axis relative to Earth is less than half the opening angle. Also, the jet would have to reach far enough in order to damage life on Earth. The more narrow the jet appears, the further it will reach, but the less likely it is to hit Earth. So what are the chances of WR104 killing all life on Earth if it goes supernova right now? Probably less than 1%, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.